Let's take you to the Western Cape now, where some roads have been fixed in the area of Citrusdal following this devastation caused by flooding three weeks ago. Now, the provincial infrastructure uh, department says it's on track to repair the resulting damage. Our reporter Nobisuti Hedjan is tracking that story uh, for us, and we find it in Citrusdal in the Western Cape, a very, very important region in terms of agriculture and the economy uh, in the Western Cape. Nobisuti Bisutu, and the, the, the damage there was devastating for the industry, but it looks like they've got the wheels turning towards recovery pretty quickly. Certainly, and where we are, Masal, we are in the Oliphants River. This is where that bridge had collapsed. Right behind me, you can see the work is currently underway. And I was told by the executive mayor that this is actually the main route used by farmers, businesses, especially this particular area being known for agriculture. But Mr. Ruben Richards is going to tell us about what we're seeing behind because we know that the Western Cape Infrastructure Department was actually happy that this road was built in 10 days. But we can see behind you the work is still continuing. Mr. Ruben, just tell us what are we seeing behind you and maybe how far are we from actually finishing this road? Uh, how far are we from finishing it? <laughs> I don't think we're very far. Uh, this is a temporary intervention, uh, thanks to the uh, sterling efforts of the provincial and national governments. Uh, it's a it's a, a gravel road, as you can see, um, and it needs a proper uh, constructed bridge because it is the main thoroughfare into into Citrusdal. And you were telling me that I mean, obviously there are plans to redesign or possibly re designed this particular road because like you're saying it's just a temporal measures but let's take let's talk about those uh, plans uh, I <laughs> I wish I could talk in more detail about the plans these roads are the are the competency of, of province and national these are not municipal roads um, and so we're subject to to what the engineers have to say um, Citrus Dull has three three access roads this is this is one of them and we have two others which are also vulnerable, this being the most vulnerable, as you could see uh, from the, from the uh, destruction of, of the flood. But the, the idea is, is that as soon as possible to get two-lane traffic through, through this access road so that we could uh, reduce the congestion and the frustration that people have, but more importantly, the access, the hospital, the business, the private citizens, because it is the only, or the main access, the main access road. And we were made aware about the impact due to the collapse of the road. But let's talk about the impact of um, businesses in the area. Like you're saying, this is the main entry. So people like the farmers, hospitals, business people that need to use this road for any type of dealing were obviously severely impacted. But let's just look at the whole impact in this municipality. So let's start, let's start with the impact on, on the ordinary citizen. Um, so the people who, who were living along the, the banks of the river, fortunately we had evacuated the most vulnerable uh, before the flood arrived, so we had no, no loss of life, so we're very thankful for that. We housed them in, in municipal offices and buildings, and they are slowly being, if you will, repatriated to, to their places. Interestingly enough, as we moved them out, other land invaders came and they wanted to take over the land and so we're dealing with that conflict at the moment so that's the on the sort of human settlement side of things on the infrastructure side of things some of the farmers lost the opportunity to have their fruit because it's a fresh fruit uh, export market um, and so we couldn't get the, the goods to the harbor and the ship left without the fruit um, and the fruit then just goes rotten and so forth and so on. So just from a business side of, of things, uh, that has been an impact. The more, I suppose, critical is, is on the side of medical uh, assistance. Um, you heard earlier about the lady who had the heart attack um, up in Irlandskloof and had to be airlifted uh, in very treacherous, dangerous weather. Uh, but fortunately, we were able to do that. And then to get re uh, disaster relief supplies in, thanks to the, the, the openness of heart of one of the farmers here who has a private bridge, a private road on his farm. That road became made, was, was made uh, available to us and to the general public uh, to go through that private property. If it was not for that road, I, I, I dread to think what would have happened. We would have been completely marooned until now, until we could get 
could get the access. So we're very, very thankful uh, to Maton Citrus for allowing us to use their bridge and, and, and their property. All right. Thank you very much. Well, Marcel, that was the executive mayor of Cedarburg Municipality, Mr. Ruben Richard, talking about the, the work currently being done and also the impact uh, that was caused by those floods in this particular area. But he talks about plans to for the long-term plans of eventually um, finding space for the people who are residing on the river banks. That is the community of Riverview uh, that are currently, some of them are currently being housed in community holes in the area but like he said uh, they're dealing with the matter of when they try to evacuate people to safety other people they take an opportunity and um, illegally um, land grab that particular area so those are some of the challenges that the municipality is facing but work is underway in Citrusdal to ensure that there's movement business people aren't suffering and also to drive the economy of this local municipality Thank you so much for that update. Our reporter in Obasuto Hejana reporting to us there from a spot in, in uh, the Cedarburg. And I do believe, I might be wrong, but I do believe that's where our, our, um, our colleague um, Aisha Ismail was reporting from uh, when the rain was still coming down. She was standing there in a soak jacket and that road had just completely and utterly disappeared. So in as much as this is a temporary fix, it's a helpful fix at that. And thank you so much for bringing us that update. Obasuto Hejana reporting to us live there from uh, Citrus Dull in the Western Cape.